Retired federal worker Richard Stewart spends most of his days keeping up with the black museum he created here in Petersburg, Virginia. Pocahontas is known as the oldest black community in the USA. But it is right here that Richard Stewart spends most of his days giving tours and collecting valuable items for his Black History Museum. See, from the early 17th century until about 1810, that's when we built up, built up. We got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then see, with the Revolutionary War, a lot of whites deserted this place and went towards the mountain. And blacks came in. Not only has he invested his time, but his money as well into this museum. Most 99.1% of everything he had bought. You know, I just take my money and buy it. It doesn't matter because it's a rite of passage. I have to do this for my ancestors. Sources actually say that Pocahontas Island was a stop that slaves took in the Underground Railroad. And we put them in this cellar right here and we seal this wall. Then when it came time for the ship them out, we put them out and put them in a coffin. When Richard Stewart talks about his ancestors and who he continues to do this for, he's talking about his great-grandfather, Charles Stewart. He spent part of his life on Pocahontas Island before he was then sold into slavery. However, when asked why Mr. Stewart chooses to keep up with the history here on Pocahontas Island, here's what he had to say. I got to do it for Pocahontas. I got to do it for my people because they believed in me. And I believe that I'm doing the right thing. This is Jeanne Barnes with Petersburg's News.